happens. What about you guys? Yeah, in the previous time, Abir asked the question. And Abir, oh, you are uh, solving those sample papers. So did you find any uh, problem? Amira, yes, sir, I found some problem in the case studies and uh, I found that the case study in my question papers were also uh, there in standard papers. Oh, yeah. So please, uh, whatever your doubts are, please uh, share. Right. These are uh, trying to question, right? So in the figure, there are two points T and uh, E. And uh, on sides of A, B, such that A, D. A, D equal to B, E. Okay, that is uh, A, D equal to B. If uh, D, B parallel to B, D parallel to B, C, then that uh, PQ, that PQ parallel to A, which means that uh, we have to prove CP by PA equal to CQ by QB. That is the idea, right? Shama? Yes. Right, uh, this, is, uh, this should be the goal. Right, uh, Shab, if we want to prove that BQ parallel to AB, which means that we have to prove that these are equally divided, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so they have given DP parallel to BC. So which means uh, what? Which means that AD by BD, this is, uh, I'm directly writing, right? If R D P parallel to A, so this is equal to what A B by B C. So this uh, we have, right? This thing uh, we have, and let us write in somewhere else. So what is the goal? The goal is to prove C P by B A. That is equal to C Q by Q. Right. So uh, this thing is already in here. Right. This thing is already in here, which means that we have to take care of us. So we should not uh, touch this thing. So we'll use this thing at some point uh, later. Now, if uh, what is the other one? EQ parallel to AC. So EQ parallel to AC, then what we can write? We can write uh, BD by, uh, so BE by uh, AB. This is equal to BQ by QC. Right. Okay, so we have got this thing as well. Right. So this thing we have also uh, got which means that uh, we have to prove, right, uh, we have to prove, because we have to prove uh, this thing equal to this thing, right? Right? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, BE, uh, what we can write about uh, BE? What we can write about uh, BE? What we can write about with the given information, look at the question. What we can write about, uh, the, remember, these things are already there. Only we have to show that this, these two are equal. So that is uh, the equal. Yes. What is BE? Look at the question. BE is equal to AD. So we write this thing. So the upper numerator is matched. Right? This is matched. 
now what we can uh, do about uh, this AE, uh, what we can write about this AE. What we can do about this. Whenever you look at uh, AE, so the first thing that you can uh, quickly write about that, what is that? Remember, you will know the information of AD. So what you can write? BD. No, no, no. So yeah, that is uh, the idea. But uh, AE, what you can write, uh, how can you write this AE? AD plus DE. So this is uh, the first uh, line of thought, right? And will this be uh, useful uh, anyhow? What is the information that you have? We should write it here that, uh, yeah. Now what we can do again, just look at the question and then your answer will be there. What we can do? Remember, we have already uh, the right hand side. So right hand side is already here. So we have to focus. Now the numerator is also there. So we have to only focus about BD and uh, this denominator. So only one term to focus on. What we can do? We can write BE instead of AD. In here, uh, this is the uh, in here what we can write. Yeah, I was going in the right direction. Think about this one. What we can do? BD is BE plus ED. Yeah, so BD is uh, BE plus ED. That is absolutely correct. What is AD? Right, because we have to find out this BD, right? We have to somehow write this as BD. So, what is uh, AD? AD is BE, right? So, AD is uh, BE plus uh, D. Yeah, you shy my you were nearly uh, there. Right. Now, what is this thing? BE plus D. What is this? BD. So, we have got our answer, right? So whatever we wanted, we have uh, got uh, this answer. So if we look at uh, first and third equation, then what we can write? We can write uh, from first and uh, third that uh, AP by PC, AP by PC that is equal to AQ by QC. But we, uh, still we don't have our our answer, right? Our answer is this one. So what we can do here? Take reciprocal. So taking the reciprocal, right? Taking the reciprocal in both the sides. Right. So we have a PC or what should I write? PC, right? So CP by PA that is equal to CQ by Q. And uh, if this is uh, true, then PQ parallel to uh, what was the other BC? PQ parallel to what? A. Right. So PQ parallel to AB by converse of. Right, is it uh, clear, guys? Is it uh, clear? Yes. Yeah, so uh, whatever question has been asked, just set your code, right? And uh, then whenever you get all these uh, numbers, so don't uh, touch them. Only solve uh, the other ones, which are not uh, important for your uh, calculation, right? Yes, guys, note it down and then we will give you the question.
Noted, sir. Okay. What about uh, you guys, Shaima and Amita? What about you guys? Then, Shaima noted. Sir, I have a question. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yes. Sir, how is VE equal to AD? Oh, so this was the given information, right? This is, uh, we have given. Uh, without, okay. Yeah, without this, we cannot uh, prove, right? Yeah, this is the uh, given. I should have, uh, I should have put this information, right? AB equal to AD. Questions. Question. Find the corresponding side. So we have written three marks. What is this three representing? Yeah, what is this three representing? Can you guys tell me? There it's the marks. It's the marks, okay, yeah, because because we have a direct relation. What is that relation? That uh, the ratio of uh, sides, so let's say AB by PQ, that is also equal to the ratio of uh, perimeters. Right. So, which means that if we go by this logic, then we can just write uh, that uh, 50 by 70 that is uh, whatever, let's say one side is uh, AB, then PQ. So 50 by 70 and then uh, 20 by, uh, let's say, X. So we can calculate uh, this equation, right? So X is 20 into 7 by 5. By 5 fours are, so this is 28. So the other side would be 28, but, but this question is of three marks, right? Which means that, uh, so yeah, we have to do this question elaborate, right? So this is the answer, uh, right, uh, Shaima, this is the answer, and this is uh, the known result. I have not talked about this uh, one in the uh, class because this was not a uh, right? kind of questions to ask. But, uh, you say the answer is 28. Yeah, so, but this is of uh, three marks, right? So, so this is uh, 2014's question paper. Oh, so 2014. So that is why this is out of the table question, right? So in uh, earlier classes, uh, we, ha we had a uh, ratio of uh, areas, right? So the ratio of areas were uh, side square. So all these things uh, were there. But uh, but uh, yeah. So now it is. Uh, these are not. This is not. Okay. But uh, so you have to know. So if you want to do this question, just remember that uh, ratio of sides is equal to ratio of uh, perimeters. Right. So Let's say AB by PQ, that would be AB plus BC plus AC divided by PQ plus QR plus PQ. This is the uh, Okay. 
Is it uh, cleared? Yes, sir. So, uh, what uh, we can... Yeah, so, the proof is uh, not needed. How can we prove this thing? How can we prove this thing, guys? Any idea how can we prove this thing? Yes. Yes, guys, any idea how can we So I will give you guys, but that is not needed, right? So, right. So you have A, B, C, R, and this is given that they are similar. So what do you have? You have A, B by B, Q. That is uh, equal to what uh, B, C by by Q, R, and that is equal to AC by AC by PR. Right. So if we uh, compare these two, right, if we compare these two, so AB by PQ that is equal to BC by QR. So what we can do is that we can take these things, right, AB by BC that is equal to PQ by QR. Right. If we add one to it, add one to it. So we will get uh, AB plus uh, BC by BC, and uh, then this is BQ plus uh, QR by QR. Right. Right, guys. Yes, sir. Now, uh, if you guys uh, remember that now what we can do is that again we can write uh, this thing in the other side. So, AB plus uh, BC, this thing the other side, but this is not needed. Okay, now what we should do again? What we should do? What we should do? Any idea? Take BC by QR to the other side. Take BC by QR. So if we take, because they will get this thing again. If we take BC in this side, uh, QR in that side, so we'll get this thing. No, sir, as in subtract BC by QR from AB plus BC by PQ plus QR. Okay, that would be very complicated, right? So if if you have, uh, you don't want to mix uh, these triangle sides, right? So you are saying that uh, we subtract these, right? But you see, this would be pretty much complicated because this would be QR and uh, PQ plus uh, QR, and then this is divided, and so much is happening. One. Remember, uh, what always uh, uh, remember the code. What is the answer that you want to teach? What is the answer? If you look at this thing, what is the answer that you want to teach? What is the end goal? What is the end goal? Did you get, see that? AB by PQ equals BC by QR. No, so that is already given. This thing is uh, already given because these two triangles are similar. We want to prove this thing. Right, AB by PQ, that is what we have used, right? Right. Yes. So, this is the end goal. Right. This is the end goal. Now, yes. if, 
if we look at this part, so what is uh, missing in the end? What is missing? What is missing in here? The here? What is uh, missing? AC by PR is missing. So plus AC missing. Plus AC in here plus uh, PR in here. But we have this BC by QR. So this BC by QR, we can write AC by PR. Correct, guys? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if we write that thing, right? If we have our end goal in our mind, then we can put it. So this is AC by PR. Now what is the next thing that we'll do? So you guys have already the idea. What will do? Mm, so exactly the same thing we have done just a moment ago. Yes. So take this AC in here, this in that side. So AB plus uh, BC by AC. And uh, PQ plus QR by PR. And this time you should, guys, uh, you guys should tell me that what should we do next. What should we do next? Yes. Yes, guys, what should we do next? The answer is uh, at the top of the screen. What should we do? One. Yes, Shama. Add one on both sides. Yes, so that is the answer, right? Because somehow we want to, we want this AC to be here. So add one to both sides. Yeah. Okay, I am uh, missing one step, so let me write it in the next. AB plus uh, BC by AC. Plus one BQ. That is why this question is because this is just uh, moving sides here and there and doing some uh, simplification. So this will uh, give you the answer AB plus BC plus AC by AC and BQ plus QR plus PR divided by PR. So I have, uh, we have our answer, right? existing the other side and uh, this thing AC by PR. So this AC by PR is uh, AB by PQ. This is BC by uh, what was the third one? Uh, PR, PQ, QR. Right. So this is how we get that uh, the ratio of perimeters is equal to the ratio of sides. Is it uh, clear? This is how we got uh, this. I guess this is a three mark question. So we have to derive this thing first and then write uh, this. I guess that is the idea that they want us to. Okay, so is it uh, clear, guys? Is this question clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, you guys. Uh, Please note this one down. Yeah, from here. This was the answer. Yes, so any other question, uh, Shaima? Yes? Yes, sir. Oh, it's good, good that you are asking uh, this bad question. And uh, I'll be only asked uh, one question. Where are the rest of the questions? Sir, the um, linear equation, NCRT exemplar word problems, ah, I was not ah. able to solve the ones that they sent yesterday. Oh, okay, so I'll have to check this that question. Yes, sir. Okay, so let me, yeah, let me check those uh, and then look at those questions. 
Yeah, so let's uh, let everybody try those questions, right? Because you got uh, the time that you guys have uh, you guys some uh, time uh, limits, right? To solve those uh, questions and send it to the learning team, right? Let everybody uh, send those problems. And if, if everyone has submitted those things, and then we can uh, talk to them, right? So this is uh, So exercise three point four questions. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so exemplar, right. And Amina, what about you? What are the what are those the questions? Sir, uh, there were uh, some questions from uh, three to four questions. There were three to four questions from polynomials and uh, some problems from a linear question. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I didn't face much problems in real number and polynomial, but in the question I faced. Okay. Yeah. So, in the sample uh, papers. No, sir, NCRT exam. Oh, NCRT exam. Okay, yeah. Okay, NCRT. Also, we'll discuss about those uh, things, right? Maybe the whenever the deadline ends, right? So, you guys have got some deadline. When everybody has submitted their uh, assignments, then we can discuss, right? So maybe in the next class, right? Yeah, noted this part, guys. Noted. Yes, sir. Okay, so then down this. Yeah, whenever you guys have noted it down, please tell me. Yeah. Okay, everyone uh, noted. Yes, sir. Noted, sir. Okay, so now because you guys are not giving me some questions, now it's my time. Then. Oh, you guys have already given me, but that is uh, in the middle of uh, right? time. So you guys have to first submit those to the learning team and the learning team will take me in there. Yeah, so there, there are similar processes. Okay, so very, very, yeah. Sir, I had a doubt. You have a doubt in uh, yeah. What is uh, the doubt? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
Yes, it is from yes, sir. AP. Okay, so which one? Uh, sir, I'm, I'm sending the pink. It's from the sample paper. Sample paper? Sample yes, sir. Paper. It came uh, also in one of the questions in my school. Okay, yeah. So can you send me those uh, questions? For sample papers, uh, yeah, so you have uh, already sent me those uh, sample papers, right? Yes, that... The question uh, is from that only. Uh, okay, yeah, so you please uh, send me that uh, question, right? Send me that question and then. And yes, we are here in Shayana, are here, so they will also be the division. So this is, just remember this thing, right? So in mathematics, we agree that clear thinking is very important. But if you are getting some fuzzy idea, so that is also important, right? You can connect those fuzzy ideas and then you will get some clear idea. So fuzzy idea is also important. Okay, guys. Yes. Meanwhile, Amida is sending me some uh, questions. Okay. And uh, I will ask you guys my favorite question. I have asked you guys this question many a times. Let me see you guys if you guys do this. So question number twenty one. Question number twenty one, guys. Oh, I mean, I have also sent you this uh, question. Yeah, meanwhile, you guys are uh, practicing uh, the question, right? So, what is the Yeah, so what is uh, uh, this question is uh, out of uh, the syllabus, right? So this is uh, from uh, division algorithm. This question is from division algorithm, right? And have not studied about this, not important. Okay, what is the... Uh, uh, so what is the date of uh, this uh, sample paper? What was the yeah, year? Yes. Yeah, so what is the year of uh, this question? Yes. This thing you have to know the division algorithm, which you won't have. Uh, so you guys have not studied about this. In this question, we have to divide 16x. So 16x minus 63 divided by minus x squared plus 326x, something like this. So this is uh, not needed. Right, is it clear, Amira? Thank you, sir. Yeah, so this is not in the syllabus.
who was that sample paper of 23, 2023 and 24? Windows was not a copy paper. Yeah. To solve the twenty first question, guys, that did it. Yeah. Yes, guys. Yes, who got the answer? Yes, everybody got stuck. What is happening, guys? Got the answer. I know that. Yeah, uh, could you do it? Oh, yeah. So, Shaima, you have done this question uh, with other method, right? I have always uh, yeah, explained this one with uh, a different one, right? So, what is. Uh, the problematic thing is here. What is uh, that? This is uh, root two, right? Yes. So we want to have this term, right? We want to have this term. So let's focus on this term. How can we get uh, this term with this given information? What we should do that uh, we get this term in, the, in this equation. What we should do? Multiply with root. Multiply with root. Right? So this is a root to cos theta. This is the cos theta, sine theta, cos theta. Multiply with a right? Multiply. So root to cos theta sine theta and this is uh, 2 cos theta so we only require this thing do we have any uh, information about this one 
any information about this one? If we go back to our uh, question, any cost any data plus it's equal to cost plus sign. Yeah, so mm -hmm. let's put that value. So then you guys can see that we have our answer, right? So what is the uh, sign data? This is uh, two cost data minus. Uh, cos theta minus sin theta. So this is this is the answer, right? And uh, Shimer did this question with another sample, right? I don't uh, square this thing and then uh, yes, think of that. This part here. Okay, so this is the uh, is the tag clear, guys? Quickly note it down and then we'll put the other question. Yeah, noted, not, sir. Noted. Yes, Shyamai and Amira, what about you guys? Noted. Done, sir. Okay, so. So... Please uh, solve the 28th one. 28th uh, question. And always remember what is the universal idea. Just stick to that universal idea. And uh, tell me what is the answer that you guys are getting.
Did you guys get the answer? Mm, yes, guys, did you guys get uh, the answer? Or still solving? <laughs> still doing it, sir. Still solving. Acha, you are telling me to do this uh, problem. No, sir, solving it. Mm, okay, yeah. Say with the 29th one, right? 29. 28. 28. I have. Oh, okay. Oh, you are solving this 29th one. Yeah, so 29th one is... Uh, so, what you can uh, do in this uh, problem? Yeah, so what about you guys? You were solving... Uh, Shaiba, you were solving 29th one. Yes, sir. So, what is the idea in this one? What is the idea? So we have to do uh, take either one of the term as A and the other two terms as B. Yeah, and then rationalize it. Yeah, so that is the correct approach. Yeah. So we have to rationalize this one. And uh, if we get the answer, uh, if we get this answer, that is okay, that is fine. But if we simplify this, if we don't reach this thing, then we have to solve this one, right? So that is yes. the idea. Yeah, so that is the idea of this question. Okay, you guys, uh, please try these uh, questions and uh, I will see you guys in the next class and then we can talk about uh, these ones, right? Yes, Abir and uh, yes, uh, please join. Okay, someone is joining and uh, then So we have to write. Uh, okay, so yeah. We'll talk about this question in the next class. Okay, guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. I love it. I love it, guys. I love Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir.
Yes, uh, hello, Aman. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, Aman. Can you hear me? Yes, Amar, can you hear? Yes. Yeah, so what was uh, the question uh, that we prepared? Uh, 